All right, everybody, I'm live. Um, hey, everybody, it's Ark. Not that that really means anything, but uh, yeah, I got a newish phone and uh, the cameras are way better. So, I mean, it's not anything professional, but hopefully it looks a little nicer and I can make more videos about interesting laptops. Um, and also, um, uh, I mean, for this video, I don't really have a script or like notes or anything. So I'm just gonna kind of give unfiltered opinions, but as a consequence, I may chop up the video just so it's sort of easier to, you know, consume and I don't go like, um, uh, and pause a lot. But, uh, yeah, I mean this, this laptop specifically, um, uh, for a couple of years, I've been like, eh, I should get rid of it and just, you know, sell it and get some spare cash. Um, but, uh, after using it the past few days, cause I wanted to make this video, I've really kind of gone like, oh man, this is kind of a, as, as useless as this laptop is, it's, really fun to use, um, even though it's terribly slow and terribly antiquated. But uh, anyway, this laptop is the Fujitsu Lifebook uh, U810 Ultra Mobile PC, UMPC. So uh, here it is in this fine leather case. Uh, I got really lucky when I bought this because it kind of came with the full package, came with a dock, came with the dongle that gives it a video out and ethernet, and also came with this nice leather case, but unfortunately it's just kind of inconvenient and it makes it thicker and kind of hotter because like, uh, as you can see here, this is the intake for the fan and this is the single like centimeter wide exhaust for the fan. And uh, that's already not a lot, but it's being extra choked by like this small little mesh window. So um, it makes an already hot kind of laptop though slightly hotter. So it's not very, benef or not very optimal. But uh, anyway, and also because I hate this leather case because uh, this lip, like, it, it, it's so annoying. Like, I mean, yeah, you can do that, but it's just it's such an awkward thing. And like, I don't really feel much uh, need for protection for this laptop because it's made of, the, the housing is made of plastic. Like, uh, I mean, I guess, you know, it might protect it from scratches or like, you know, if you drop it, I guess it has some sort of, uh, uh, aspect of protection there, but I don't really see much point in having it in this case. So uh, anyway, uh, let's turn up the brightness. This screen does get kind of bright um, for how old it is. I think this was released in late 20, uh, 2007, and it was kind of uh, at the uh, like transition period between uh, Pentium M and like Core 2 Duo, and also uh, I think right before all those uh, Intel Atom netbooks sort of flooded the market so you know everybody and their grandma had some sort of cheapo intel atom netbook that they could just use to browse the web and uh use for microsoft word and stuff so um the i'll get in the specs in a moment but uh, let me get logged in here how is wi-fi disabled by hardware switch i just flicked it on all right you know what it's shut down i can go over the specs without it being on um let me get out of this stupid case always afraid of like I'm gonna break it all right throw it aside um anyway here it is it's actually kind of nice to hold in the hand um uh weight wise it's about a pound and a half so still like really light by today's uh yeah light by today's standards um this battery is actually like still perfectly usable and uh, um has most of the ch its charge left so I'm really happy about that and I put in a 120 gigabyte ssd so it uses uh, 1.8 inch ziff ssds um they are the same size as like people used to put in their old ipods um so um they're kind of common um and mostly mechanical ones are common i think ssds are a little less common um but you would want to use an ssd in this because um this came with a mechanical one and it got very hot and even then it was like throttling um like the entire system because of the heat it added and also uh, the sound it added was not very pleasant. I'll put it in this dock because that kind of makes things easier and I don't want to type on this little ass keyboard. Um, so it slides, slides right in there. This dock is pretty, pretty nifty. Um, as you can see, it adds three and then plus one USB and then a VGA and then ethernet and power right there. So I guess I'll plug it in. Um, I have enough battery to last through this video for this laptop though, so I don't really need to plug it in, but oh, whatever, might as well top it off. So yeah, let me uh, open it right back up. I might have to re-angle the camera for this. 
All right. So, oh, well, I might as well go also uh, some uh, things about the laptop. So there is a webcam up there. It is not very good, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected for the age and the size. There is, so this is a resistive touchscreen. Uh, resistive touchscreens are the ones which are like uh, the thin layer of air uh, in between like two film, layers of film, and it like you connect it by pressing down on it. It's, it's the type of touchscreen the Nintendo DS used. And I mean, it works on the DS because, you know, it was sort of made for that. And I guess they made it work, but uh, here it really sucks. And in Linux, it just doesn't work at all. So, I mean, I don't, I don't care about that at all. Um, <clears throat> fingerprint reader, which is kind of nice to have, even though these are like old as heck and I don't know, they just kind of suck. Um, this, this is the mouse right here on the right. Um, it's kind of like a track point, but it's way slippier and kind of sucky to use. And right here are the mouse buttons on the left. Um, there's some macro buttons, but I've never gotten them to work in Linux. This came with Windows XP and it had all the drivers installed and um, everything was like kind of working all right, but I never really found much utility in using any of the, the function or macro keys. Um, as you can see, the keyboard is rather small. Um, I think these keys are like less than a centimeter uh, squared in area. And um, you can sort of hold it like, I don't know, a Game Boy or something and type like that. Um, or, or like those Xbox 360 uh, chat pads that they uh, you could attach to the bottom of the, the controller, but um, I find it kind of uncomfortable to do it that way because the, the machine gets kind of warm. Um, let's close it up and see other I.O. Power, SD card slot, there is a volume rocker, and then you push it into mute, so that's, that's kind of all right. Uh, microphone headphone jack, there is there's the physical Wi-Fi switch, which I was having problems with. Um, let's go this side. There's the power switch. There is, I don't know what the heck this is. I have no clue. Um, is this a smart card reader? I think. Or is this express card? I think this is express card. Um, or is, it could be card bus. I don't know. Whatever it is, not, I don't give a shit about it. <laughs> um, then there is a single, in under this flap, uh, USB port. Alright, that's a little nicer, isn't it? So, nice and moody. Um, yeah, it, it's taken a while to boot up, which, um, honestly, it's kind of bearable. Uh, if it didn't have the SSD, it'd probably really suck. Um, it's kind of just sticking out the screen. All right, let's uh, log in. All right, it connected to Wi-Fi immediately. So I don't know what the deal was when it was uh, kind of not working before. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to do was, I haven't updated this OS in a while, so I wanted to update it and see how long it took. So, uh, sudo or sudo. Um, there was some weird flashing light outside, but I don't care. Uh, I'm using void, so xbps install suv. I forgot my password again. Oh, wait. It's taking a while. I, I don't know why it is taking this long. Repo. Okay. Syncing the repo data. All right, found all these updates. This is still on kernel 5.13, and I think 5.18 was just released. Um, all right, about a gigabyte to download, and let's do it. All right, so realistically, uh, how does this perform? This is a slightly modern operating system, even though it's uh, it works pretty well on such old hardware. Um, I still think such slow hardware is kind of holding it back. Um, 800 megahertz uh, really chokes it, like downloading and uh, installing updates to packages on Void Linux is taking way longer than it does on even something made the same year, um, maybe a laptop with a dual core in it. Um, let's open the file manager and yeah, it's taken a, a second there. I mean, I clicked it and the mouse, uh, is it gonna come up? I'm wondering if I actually did click it or not. Oh, it, it, here it comes. That, that was a good like five seconds. And uh, there we go. But I mean, 
that's sort of bearable if you just want like a cozy small little laptop. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Um, the USB. Oh wait, no, I didn't plug in my USB correctly. Um, I want to go into my USB drive and get some videos off of it. So let's see. Oops. Ah. I'm unsure if I installed the proper. Okay. All right, I'm on my USB and I have a couple videos that I like to use to test just video stuff. And I have Peter Gabriel's wonderful sledgehammer music video and a couple episodes of Sailor Moon. So let's just copy over this. Um, copy. Let's go to home directory. It's taking a second. There we go. Let's go to videos. I think the updates are still going on in the background. Um, so, I mean, it's not too much to ask uh, in terms of multitasking to do updates while I do other work, but let's paste those videos here. File operation in progress. Okay, it's going at a reasonable speed, it looks like. All right, that was kind of like a normal speed for transferring files over USB 2. Um, are the updates still going? Yeah, they're still unpacking things. So CPU is probably being pretty pegged right now. Um, let's see if... Let's see the task manager, or the task, yeah. I think this is so, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's like Windows 98 all over again. Okay. So yeah, the processor is at 100% at all times. Um, I'm using about half of my memory, but you know, 400 megabytes for having the terminal and file manager open is uh, pretty reasonable for XFCE. I think that's typically around what it would be at. Um, what else is here? Swap, it dipped into swap a little bit, but uh, I'm not sure why. So let's, let's play, let's play some Peter Gabriel. And I'll probably mute this so I don't get fucking copyrighted or whatever. Um, let's, let's turn on the sound. Well, I want to turn on the sound so I can hear it. Actually, I don't really need to. I've heard this song a million times. Is it, is it opening? I'm just unsure if it's not opening because everything's happening so slowly. Uh, okay, whatever. I, uh, this is still going. Um, <laughs> and I open a second terminal. Can I open a second terminal, please? Please, may I have a second terminal? I mean, I could go into the TDY or something, but I, I don't want to. Maybe I could open the tab. Oh my God. This isn't, this isn't. I know it, it probably doesn't like seem very apparent but when you like click something and it just doesn't immediately happen it feels very weird okay let me do another tab let me maximize this screen oh. <laughs> uh, I have never seen NeoFetch hang while generating uh, all the, the statistics so um, yeah I guess while I wait for this computer to stop having a fucking seizure, uh, I'll go over some of the specs. So uh, I might have mentioned before, it is a 800 megahertz Intel Pentium M. So this is before Core 2 Duo. Um, actually like time-wise, it was, I think Core 2 Duos had been out for maybe a year or two. And for whatever reason, this was the lowest wattage part they had to make uh, this sort of handheld netbook. So they used Pentium M, like really low wattage, 800 megahertz instead. Um, so even for the time, this was like considerably slow. People were probably like, yeah, you could have bumped it up a bit. Um, the graphics are Intel integrated uh, GMA 950, which um, are kind of notorious for being in lots of Core 2 Duo laptops at the time. But um, honestly, it's still bottlenecked by the CPU here. Um, one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, 
I don't know if that's in double channel. Um, I don't know how to check like really quick, but I'm gonna guess it's in single channel. Um, the screen is actually pretty nice. It is 1024 by 600, which is a 169 aspect ratio, which is kind of rare for the time. Um, it is an IPS display and it is fairly bright. Um, the colors are kind of vivid for the time. So like, honestly, I'll give it credit there. It's got a pretty nice screen for how small it is. Um, I don't know how big it is, big the screen is. It's probably like a, a five or six inch screen. Um, the battery in here is actually, I'm super surprised that the original battery in this still reports that it has, um, I don't I don't know if that menu will pop up. Oh my God, everything has, okay, okay, this popped up. So yes, this uh, battery reports full charge. Like this is a 15 year old device and this battery still seems to be in perfect condition. And um, I know it's not misreporting it because I've actually used it for like at least three, four hours and it's just fine. So surprising that <laughs> this battery still works. Bravo Fujitsu. I don't know where you sourced your cells from. I don't know what uh, wizard you committed a blood contract with to get cells that will last 15 years and stay in perfect condition, but uh, you did it Fujitsu. Oh my God, it is finished. Okay. And the fan like immediately slows down. I mean, it's still loud, but. All right, let's close the terminal. Let's open up. I mean, I remember clicking this like five times and nothing showed up, so I don't know why. But hopefully, oh, there it goes. Sledgehammer. Let's just skip to the middle. Oh, it's a little stuttery. Oh my God. I think just because I'm using my mouse on the carpet. Yeah, that's not, that's not playing very, uh, very well. Mm, oh, no, I think it caught up. Um, you know, it's, it's still, it's stuttering pretty bad. I wonder how many drop frames there are. If I run this from the console, um, open terminal. Okay, let's close the file manager to save valuable CPU cycles. MPV, Peter Gabriel, such hammer. All right. And doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, you can see it is dropping many frames. Let's let us skip to the center where there's actual video going on. Okay, Mr. Gabriel's having a fucking acid trip, and yeah, it is it is dropping like pretty much a quarter of the frames. I feel like. Um, my mouse is wigging out because <laughs> it's on the carpet. Um, that, yeah, that's that's not good. That's not too good. Um, I wonder what bit rate the video is at though. Because if you get the bit rate low enough where you can like balance the quality and... So, all right, um, MPV. Here, I'll unmute this because I don't think I'm gonna get copyright striked for uh, anime. Maybe I will. Fuck. Okay. Sailor Moon. Episode 1, MP4. Mm, it's still muted. Do, 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 do. This sounds like it's being transmitted through like a toy walkie talkie from Toys R Us. Yeah, it's still dropping frames. Um, or not? Nope, still dropping frames. But it looks kind of smooth. Let's see the intro. I'll use the volume rocker at the side to lower the volume. Oh no, I'm raising it. Okay, lower it. Yeah, it's kind of choppy. Oh, wait, no. It seems to be fine. I, I can't judge. I keep on going like, oh, it's fine. Oh, wait, no, it sucks. Yeah, okay. If I had, like, really shitty quality 20-year-old uh, anime to watch, I, I could do it on this. It's not the worst. Whoa. All right. 
Well, uh, I guess that's about it. Thank you for accompanying me on this journey of pain and suffering. I, I still am like torn on whether or not I want to sell this because it's like such a neat little thing, but it also sucks. Like, <laughs> so uh, it's like, I don't want to use it, but sometimes I do. And it runs hot and loud and it's just kind of janky to use. And I have other laptops that are also kind of small that have better power and are more usable. Anyway, I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just torn on whether or not I want to get rid of this. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll find some more cruddy laptops in my possession that... Oh, oh, it's really dropping the frames now. I think when I have it in full screen, it like... Oh, what the fuck? Huh? Why is it doing this? Why? It just doesn't... There we go. It just didn't know how to full screen itself. I think when it's in full screen, it like... It runs better because it's avoiding the compositor on XFCE. Okay, whatever. I'm done. Yeah, it dropped like 500 frames and it played like two minutes. So, uh, not too... Been a, not too optimal, but... I could watch, like, if it's really low bitrate um, and it ran smoothly, I could probably watch it on this. It'd be pretty comfy. Uh, or I could just, I don't know, use the phone that I'm recording this on or, like, use a real laptop or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, my God. <laughs> the icons aren't here. All right. That's it.